In section 150 of Hanson Quinn's Greek Unintensive course, we're going to talk about the accusative absolute. And Hanson and Quinn talk about it on pages 567 to 568. When you learned the genitive absolute, you learned that it's a genitive noun and a genitive participle that mean with the noun verbing when you need a circumstantial participial phrase that's not connected to any of the nouns in the sentence that is the main clause. So here we have a genitive of the gods and a genitive of saving because we wanted to say, since the gods saved the city, we danced all night. And we wanted to do it with the participle, but the participle couldn't agree with anything in the main clause. And under those circumstances, you do it with a genitive absolute. As we've learned from the beginning of doing participles, whatever agrees with a participle, you can think of as the subject of its participle. And so in this instance, the gods agree with the participle, and so they are the subject of it. And when we turn this into good English, we make the gods the subject of the since clause. But the thing is, and here's where we need accusative absolutes, we've just been learning about verbs, day, doke, and we've had XSD and cre that don't really have subjects, that they all are impersonal, and so they don't really do what we think of as agreeing with a subject. In those instances where you need to use a participle or want to use a participle to express a dependent circumstance, and there is nothing for them to agree with in the main sentence, there couldn't possibly be, we'll use an accusative absolute. It happens with impersonal verbs, and it keeps us from looking around for a genitive noun stated or understood to go with a genitive participle to be a genitive absolute. It helps us see that these are impersonal constructions. So for instance, daon dikain dunai ektes poleos Ekfugata. It being necessary to pay the penalty, y'all left the city. So here we have that daon, that accusative, neuter, singular participle doing all of this work of making a circumstantial clause, it being necessary to pay the penalty. We can see it again in exon agatha poyen, poyomen agatha. It being possible to do good things, let us do good things. Since it is possible to do good things, let us do good things. And again, that neuter, accusative, singular participle is doing all of this work to help us see that we have a circumstance being expressed by the ideas in this impersonal verb. So keep an eye out for those. They don't happen that often, but when you do see them, Try the impersonal it construction to get yourself going to understand what you're seeing expressed in Greek. Enjoy.